Hi, it's me again and with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part seven of this laser wood art. And I've made seven parts, or this is the seventh part. So if you haven't watched them all, you kind of need to watch them in order. You maybe not have to watch the first two, but uh, I'm going to show how I made this. Because since I made part one and two, I've found some easier ways to do it. So I'm going to take an ellipse tool and I'm just going to draw an elongated ellipse. And in the previous video, I made some sharp points and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to take the pick tool. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. But I'm going to make the, the rotation. Well, you know what would be the best thing to do is being in an indexing line. Put P. I want to make sure I don't have a duplicate. Press P. Control D and make a duplicate. Let's zoom in here. Because we want this right on that line. I don't want to go all the way. I, don't, I could go to there, but it, it causes some problems. So there you go. Now I'm going to rotate it 22 and a half degrees. Control D. Sometimes Corel does that, so you have to double it, make it 45. Now with this one, I'm going to make a duplicate and Control D and make a duplicate of it. Move it out of the way. I like working in the top dead center, so I'm going to group this together, control G, and I'm going to rotate it 11 and 0.25 degrees, so now I've got a split there. I want to make this one a little bit wider and a little bit longer, and I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page, and there's a lot of things you could do with it. Um, start moving it up, holding down your control button and that looks pretty good right now then what I'm going to do I'm going to take the smart fill tool and I'm going to fill in this section mine's set on blue right now but it doesn't really matter my nudge distance is set on 17 inches that's too big I just need to get it off the page this is 11 so let's make it 12 inches let's make it 13 I'm going to nudge my new blue over the side and now I can I'm going to leave that there for just a second I'm going to show you why in just a second I'm going to control or click on I'm going to left click right click and I'm going to contour it I'm going to uh, go to effects contour earlier I was using a different color I'm going to contour it in black and depending on how big you make it is going to be your contour. So I'm going to go 0 .008 or 0 .08 because you don't want too thin a wood. That looks pretty good. I'm going to break the contour apart, go to a range, break contour apart. Now, for a second, I'm going to just double move that over because we need to make our outer shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this part, Control D, make a duplicate, move, move the rotation to the center. Well, let's do this. Really, I want to back up. I kind of made a mistake. I'm going to back up completely. Because I actually want this in the center of the page. Control G and make it, group it together and then hit P. And I'm going to show you why you'd want to work in the center of the page. Now we're going to move this to the center of the page. Let me zoom in here. Start moving and then hold down the control button. Now we can move that. We can use our smart fill tool to fill that in. Nudge it over. Left click. Right click. Contour it. Break contour apart. Whoop. And then I'm going to grab my new contour. I'm going to delete the old contour just so I won't get confused. 
then we need to do a couple of things. We need to make an outside structure. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate of that. And this is why we want in the center of the page so we can rotate to the center. 22 and a half degrees. Control D. Okay. And also what we're going to do, we're going to take our inside one and control D and make a duplicate of it and just move it out of the way so we will not mess up. So we'll really have all the parts. And now we need quite a bit fatter one. So we're going to take this whole thing again. And I like working top dead center. Control G and group it. Rotate it 11.25 degrees. And see what I'm talking about? Now I got a whole dead center. I'm going to break it apart for just a second. Because I want to get one of these. And I'm going to make a control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to try to zero it out and it worked. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to start moving and then I hold down the control button. Okay. Now we're going to need this contour before we do anything. So let's smart fill this. And I don't like that. Those sharp points are going to be too much. So let's back up here. And what I'm going to do is take the three-point curve. And I'm going to go from that node holding down the control button and getting a straight line. And then kind of getting in the middle and making an arch. And try to get it in the center. Now we've got a completely different smart field. I've got a leak. That's no big deal. One of these lines isn't touching. There it is right there. Just take your node. Let's check the other side. It looks good to go. Use the Smart Field tool to fill that in. I'm going to do it to the left. I'm going to right or left click, right click. And we'll leave that alone for just a second because we need an outline. So Control D and make a duplicate. Move the rotation to the center. Rotate at 22 and a half degrees. Control D. And this isn't anything like my first one. But it looked pretty cool. I like the sharper point so you can make your own. Select the whole thing and make a boundary. Let's move our boundary out of the way. The other one looked quite a bit better, but you get the idea. Now I'm going to contour the boundary to the outside. 0 0.008. Okay. Go up to a range. Break contour apart. Grab one. The red one is the one we do not want, so we'll delete it. And you'll see why we want this later in just a minute. I'm going to put it in the center of the page, and then I'm going to nudge it out of the way. All right. So we've got all these pieces. We need to basically, I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to move it off for a while. I'm going to nudge this one back. And that's what's so neat about the nudge distance. You can do that right there. Now let's control G and group it. Get the center to the. This is only but going to be the hard part right here. We need to move this point 11.25 degrees. Now let's bring in our new contour. And just nudge it over. That's going to work. So now you can actually do this. Select that one. Hold down your shift key. Select that one. We'll go ahead and group them for a second. Control D and make a duplicate. Move the rotation to the center. It doesn't look like it's in the center, so I want to double check it, and it is. Rotate it 22 and a half degrees. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing them all at the same time. 45 degrees, 
I'm doing both of them at the same time. I'm going to have to back up here. You can only see if you got a duplicate and you do. So control D and make a duplicate. 45 degrees. Control D. What I what happened? I was going a little bit too fast for my laptop to keep up. So just kind of slow down when you're making your duplicates. And we're almost there. Now we know we're in the center of the page, so take our outline and put it in the center of the page. We are almost done with layer number one. That's going to look pretty cool. So, stay tuned. Whoop, I didn't need to move and do that. Stay tuned for layer number two. And one thing, if you're watching this, we're working from the top down. We're doing the top layer, and then we're going to go downward. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the other one.